This is part 10 of the post-apocalyptic classroom, and it's the last part. There have been nine parts uh, previously, and these are the thumbnails uh, from most of them. Part one was the introduction, and then part two, I really got into uh, modeling this thing. Through part three, four, five, six, and then we started doing some texturing in seven, eight, nine, and I showed you much of the texturing. I went on since then, and uh, did a little bit more and uh, some of that you'll see I guess in the in the renders that I'm about to show you so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the final steps of this whole thing and how it came together so uh, this was the basic room setup in the end I've got two blinds here I boarded this up a little bit I got rid of the wires I didn't really like them put some desks all around, broke some up, and as you can see, this and that. I decided I would keep the door uh, pretty much because I wanted to block the light. So there's some glass here, which is the same as this glass that uh, is has no uh, opacity, so it doesn't, uh, well, I guess it has high opacity. <laughs> so the light doesn't uh, come through it at all, and then blocked it with the bookcase as if, you know, uh, maybe at night time these people are attacked and they're trying to block the the entrances to the room uh, I modeled a little can here and there's another one over there and there's some leaves actually that I I used blender scatter um, add-on just to to put some leaves down but that's the basic modeling setup all right um, in terms of lighting I have a little bit of interior light and an exterior light I'll talk about that for interior lights, uh, all I used was an area light at the ceiling level, and I also have a couple of point lights, as you can see here. And that's what I use for the interior of my scene. And um, for the exterior, I used the sky texture. All right, so it's just, uh, I did this in cycle so I could use this sky texture. Here are my settings if you're interested in that. Here's my strength and uh, we'll see the effects of that in a moment. Um, along with the sky texture, and really this is the only opening here, these, these three windows, everything else is blocked up so light wouldn't come in. Um, I used a principal volume, so it was just a cube surrounding the entire structure, the entire room, and I used the volume scatter node as the material uh, in uh, the shader editor and here's my volume scatter node connected to volume you can see the settings that i use and the, and the color that i used so again the scene was modeled in blender it was textured in substance painter i rendered in cycles i often render in eevee but for this one i did it in cycles and some post-processing uh, a little bit in the blender compositor and then i have my own preferential software which is topaz studio that i've, I've shown that before um, to give some effects all right so we'll have a look at the final renders now of the post-apocalyptic classroom and i'll talk a bit about it all right so here it is basically shooting from the back towards the front uh, you can see uh, the god rays which uh, were uh, due to the uh, the sky texture and the uh, the scatter node and just a little bit of light up in this area here. I wanted it kind of dark on the inside as if electricity inside the building is now out and only at the, you know in the daylight would you get some some sun coming in. Uh, you can see the leaves on the ground here and um, the various objects strewn around the room. So I have a, a, a number of renders basically looking towards the front because that was the more interesting view. All right, so yeah, I think the textures held up relatively well from Substance Painter, and um, admittedly, admittedly, there are some some things missing, and I just I have to move on because I have some other work that I need to do, that's on a bit of a timeline, and so uh, what's what's lacking to my eye uh, is more dirt and leaks and stuff. Really, uh, at the ground level here, it would be nice to have some more dirt. Uh, on, and really a, a few more layers on this ground and end up there. It's just something that I just, I, I don't have the time to do right now. And so um, that's, that is lacking. And, and uh, it's a bit of a sore spot too, but it's something to be worked on in future. I am enjoying doing these environments 
I'd like to do some more stuff from The Last of Us. I seem to like that style a bit more than uh, the Uncharted uh, style, which they're both like amazing, obviously. But I, uh, it, I feel like my interest is more going towards The Last of Us. It's, it seems a little bit more doable, and so I'm, uh, I will, I will put more effort into more layers of grunge and, and grime and leaks and stuff but you know it all takes time you know to do the modeling and uh, all of that stuff including the textures and i don't always have the time or energy to to do that uh, when i have other things and a little bit of client work to do as well so just a few different angles uh you can tell probably that i used a very short focal length i think this might even be 15 or so uh, for some of these so it might look a little warped but I sometimes like that appearance uh, looks like I kept in the uh, the open uh, book and didn't end up texturing it and I was going to delete that and say I, there's no need for that I forgot to here because it doesn't show up in the other images but there's what we got so if you want to get the god rays a good way to do that is to use that volume scatter node with the principal volume all around this and a sky texture all right, and I've got this view just to show the overall room. And then this is uh, the back of the room. So I took the teacher's desk, put it back there as well, and a couple of other desks and another bookcase. Uh, ideally, I would have also liked, in addition to the, to the more grunge and dirt leaks and stuff, I would have liked some graffiti. But like I say, I have some other work that I need to do. So my plan in the next little while, for the next week or two, probably some simple blender projects unless i start another scene from like the last of us or something like that and um i and i just work slowly on that when i get a chance because i have some other stuff i have to do so i have to leave this one as it is um but anyways it was a lot of fun doing it and and uh thank you very much for coming by and, and watching the series i know it was another long one you know 10 nine or ten videos um and so it's hard to keep your motivation up for that but i do promise that i will be doing some more stuff for relative beginners uh and i will be doing some some simple modeling and maybe even a little bit of texturing in blender uh in addition to to this kind of stuff which uh, certainly took a long time all right so thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next video